We didn't, we didn't get here for nothing. There's, they, they always say, I never seen God and I never seen Jesus. But how the hell did we get here? One say there's God. One say no particular sort of mention about God. And they say it's a supreme being. I said, what is a supreme being? Or oh, somebody that just popped up and put all these weirdos on the planet. At different time, different area, different spiritual masters, come. No, it's all in the mind. Out of compassion, out of sense of concern, out of love, they preach is in these wonderful darkness. Now how do we get here? Hey, I heard the Dalai Lama's in town. Yeah, over at the Little League field. I think beautiful day, sunny day, and the sound, a lot of forest, really beautiful. And there, that's the final destination. <laughs> Practice of love, compassion, forgiveness, tolerance, contentment, self-discipline. I've been here since 1971. I came here when I got out of prison. I got out of prison in March, sometime in March of 1971. No, 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 no. It was much something. We are all same human being. We all have every right to have successful life, happy life. When I was 16, 17, you couldn't tell me nothing. It was wild, crazy. I wanted to be rich by the time I was 21. But I ended up in seven years in prison when I was 17. So therefore, our hopes and trust for external means. If we too much, that's a mistake. So I end up robbing people, killing people, <laughs> stabbing people, robbing stores. Like James Cagney said in Angels with Dirty Faces, when he killed those people, he killed Humphrey Bogart. It was called Angels with Dirty Faces. Remember that movie? Took over the jail, had the gun, the preacher came in here. We have to have faith. James can't handle everything. Everybody left him. I have faith. He had to go there. He didn't kill anybody. And he knew he was going to die. He was going to fry anyway. So he opened the door. He knew that all the guards were out there in the towers. Just opened the door with the gun in his hand, just like that. Life means happy oneself and also bring happier or happiness to more people. I'm surprised I'm not dead yet. I've been shot 17 times already. Got shot here, there, 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 twice in the ass, one back, one here, two there, one here. Man, I got 17 bullets. Then genuine compassion, which I'm referring to, is consider other just like you. I was born a Catholic, and then I turned into um, I turned into evil. You know, robbing and killing, killing people, robbing people and shit like that. I turned into evil. I was in the devil worship, black magic. 
Mm. Uh, I got a little too hairy, got a little too scary, and I went, oh, damn. That's not why, that's not why I'm having these nightmares. You see my wife, my dead wife, she's the, that's why you always have these nightmares, because you always watch these monster pictures and horror places. That has nothing to do with it, honey. And on that basis, respect other, respect their, their rights, and then develop sense of concern. I almost robbed the bank. I was thinking about it, but it's just, I can't do that by myself. I need some partners. But no, no partners. Because if you get busted, your partner is huh, going to match you up. Just like I got seven, I got seven years in the state penitentiary, and my four partner got 18 months. What's that tell you? Just don't punch him. When I went to prison, hey, Connie, how you doing, big guy? How you been? You got 18 months? And I got seven years, right? You get a big mouth, you know, I'd beat his brains out. I went through the whole three some days. When I get out, I'm going to do it again. He or she also, just like me, do not want something. So, I have, I should not have. <laughs> but then you see the cops here in Woodstock. Don't bother me. They know I live under that tree. They know what I'm doing. They know I ain't drinking a hot chocolate, a cup of coffee, or, you know, um, you know, a thing of orange juice. So once you see this uh, love and affection, then the spirit of forgiveness also comes. Tolerance also comes. And contentment. Man, I, I was a bad little motherfucker. But everybody knows me here now. Says, God, he did that fucking 40, 50 years ago. We don't do that shit no more. Everybody knows I'm, everybody knows I'm an ex-convict. Everybody knows at the time in jail and prisons and shit like that. A lot of people respect me because they know all I'm gonna do is watch baseball and drink beer and have a good time. And y'all like, yeah, that's it. Oh, there's a run. Oh, there's another run. I'm waiting to do another. Yeah. Then I'll get to me and to buck up. Hey, give me that beer. <laughs> hey, people know I want to have a good fucking time. Feeling of pity. So here, uh, there is sort of element. Look down, mother. Hey, hey, don't my way, eh? Hey, you don't do my way. You don't do no, eh? Hey, I'm tired, eh? You feel superior. So there's no sense of equality or sense of respect. Hey, you want to see my wife? She's dead. I'm gonna see her alive. Ta -da! <laughs> I did all my tattoos in prison. I don't do that shit. If I want something, no less. I'm bust my ass. Let me tell you what. no place to stay and I'm getting out of here I'm going south either I have a place to stay or I live in the streets you know if I ain't got no place to go I live in the streets practice of compassion really gives you inner strength as a result less fear because your attitude and your outlook towards other are positive no how you doing 
Good, how are you? Okay, after yesterday. Broke that toe, broke that toe, and broke my hand. Oh! I just got out. When the Yankees lose, everybody says, uh-oh, Rocky's gonna break another bone. <laughs> so, every human being, uh, from the time of birth, we all have zero compassion. Hey, why don't you get a job, you bum? Damn yeah, you, you weirdo! Damn, yeah, so do you! You got a problem with that? So, no others, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fix my dead wife, just tell her I'm on my way. <laughs> That's my belief. That's my message. Now, if you feel something okay, then think more seriously. If you're not, uh, then just leave this place. <laughs> not necessary to carry your home. Thank you. No, I missed her. I wanted to go there, but by the time I was on the way down there, everybody was coming down, you know? And uh, I said, hey, I'm going to see Dalai Lama. He says, oh, Rocky, it's over. I said, son of a bitch. So I just sat there and just went. Meditate on laughter.